what's up guys welcome back to experience rc in this video i'll be showing you how to make this xiaomi suzuki jimny look more realistic like the fmn suzuki jimny that's been released recently we'll be installing this independent esc lamp group that i got from aliexpress to add light onto this jimny here this lamp group is actually made by the pinecone model if you've never heard of them they are actually the one who made the mini inflection sg 1603 and 1604 drift truck those are pretty fun trucks to play with as well. We have one video unboxing the SG1603 here. If you are interested on that, do check it out. So now let's see what's inside the box. The instruction, some hex key we use to dismantle the car. The lamp group. Double-sided tape. And some zip ties for cable management. For this upgrade, you will also need a controller that has at least three channels to control the lights because you will be teaching the original ESC and controller receiver. So what we got here is the Dumbo RC 6 channel controller. Now that I have got all the things wired up correctly according to the instructions, it's a good time to test things out. Turn it on. Turn on our controller here. You can see that when it's connected to the controller, all the lights are off. We have to turn the light on via the channel 4. The fog light and the tail light will be always on. Let's try the turning light. And the headlight with the throttle. Okay, it seems like all the lights are working. We are ready to mount it on to the body shell. We will start with mounting the headlight the turning lights and the fog lights. Since I already have the headlight installed previously, so later on I will only plug this into the ESC without having to take the lights out and installing the new lights. To install the fog lamp and the turning lights, we need to take this off. This is the front bumper. We have to remove this fog lamp cover here. And that's it. Let's slide in the fog lamp and test it out. So next, we will need to take this off. Here you can see a small space for the turning light. We need to drill a hole through it and slide the LED in. Now the holes are drilled. We can slide the LED in and test if it fits. After this, we can move on to the next thing. So the next one will be the tail light. There's this plastic plate here which we have to remove from the rear bumper first. 